If you love a good tequila cocktail, but you're looking to mix things up both literally and figuratively, then stay tuned because I'm about to show you how to make three of my favorite cocktails. Welcome to Cocktail Limelight. I'm your host, Sarah Castro, and I don't know about you, but I love me some tequila. Because of that, I'm gonna show you how to make three of my favorite tequila drinks that I guarantee you're gonna love. Now, this first drink was created by New York bartender, Katie Stipe. And although over the years, she's created a slew of beautiful, delicious recipes, this one right here happens to be my favorite. Now, what I love so much about this drink is that it incorporates some of my favorite aspects of Italian aperitivo with the deliciousness of tequila. This cocktail is called the Siesta, and I guarantee you, after having one of these, you're gonna to wanna to take a siesta yourself. Now to make a siesta, first we start out with three quarter ounce lime juice. Follow it up with a half ounce of grapefruit. Freshly squeeze here, folks. Don't cut corners of grapefruit. Next, we're going to add three quarter ounce of simple syrup. Follow it up with a quarter ounce of Campari. Now we're gonna to top this mixture off with an ounce and a half of Blanco tequila. Now it's time to add some ice and shake it up. Now let's go ahead and strain that into a chilled coop. I mean, not only is this cocktail delicious, but I mean, look at how gorgeous that color is. But before we give it a taste, first it's time to hit it with an orange twist. Damn. And there you have it, folks, the siesta. Now this next cocktail was created by Andrew Mitchell for the opening menu at Rick House that me and him did together. And by the way, that menu was legit. I mean, it did get nominated for world's best cocktail menu at Tales of the Cocktail, but I mean, it's not like it's a big deal or anything. But I digress. What I love so much about this cocktail is that it's extremely delicious, but very, very simple to make. It combines the cooling nature of cucumber with the spicy bite that you get from ginger. And not only that, but it's also named after one of the best goalies of all time, Jorge Campos. The cocktail is called the Compost Cooler, so let's go ahead and make one now. First, let's start out with two dashes of orange bitters, as well as three slices of cucumber, three quarter ounce lime juice, and a half ounce of simple syrup. Next, we're gonna go ahead and muddle this mixture up, just enough to get some of the flavor out of the cucumber. And lastly, we're gonna to top this off with two ounces of Blanco tequila. Next, we're gonna add some ice and give it a good shake. Now that we're done shaking it, we're gonna strain it over a chilled Collins glass filled with ice. But the cocktail's still not done, because we're gonna top it off with just a bit of ginger beer. But before we finish it off, let's garnish it with a lime wheel and a paper compostable straw. The compost cooler, folks. <sighs> Tastes like heaven. Now this next cocktail was created by Trader Vic, and honestly, it's pretty much a tequila Mai Tai. And by pretty much, I mean, that's what it is, tequila Mai Tai. Or I guess an orange shot margarita, kind of depends on the way you look at it. But don't let that deter you, as looking at it like that really sells the drink short because this cocktail slaps. Although in the original recipe, the cocktail never really specifies what type of tequila is being used, I honestly think the drink works better with an Anejo or Reposado. 
The reason why I say this is because I think that the barrel that's on the spear intertwines with your jat and orange liqueur very well in this drink. But without further ado, let's go ahead and make one. First, we're gonna start out with three quarter ounce lime juice, followed up with a half ounce of orgeat. And I've said this before in other episodes, but really, when you see a cocktail with orgeat, oftentimes the integrity of the final product largely depends on the quality of orgeat you have. So if you're making it from scratch, that's the best way to go, but honestly, it can be very dirty and time consuming to do that. So if it's easier, feel free to purchase some from some of the more respected purveyors out there. Next, we're gonna add a half ounce of Curacao Triple Sec. Followed up with two ounces of Tequila Reposado. Now I'm just gonna add some pebbles in there, or crushed ice, whatever I happen to have. And I'm only adding a little bit in there, and then I'm gonna whip it up to get the drink agitated and aerated. Now that I have the cocktail all whipped up, I'm gonna pour the contents into a glass and then top it with more pebbles or crushed ice. Now that we have the cocktail, look at all frosty and delicious, it's time to hit it with the garnish. And in this case, we're gonna be using some mint sprigs as well as a lime wedge. But since the cocktail ice is packed pretty tight, in order to open up a little bit of space for the mint sprig, I'm gonna poke a little hole like so, and then tuck the mint right into the hole that it created. Next, it's time for a lime wheel. And since I'm feeling a little frisky, why not a parasol as well? Remember, it's not an umbrella, it's a parasol. Umbrellas block the rain, parasols block the sun. There you have it, folks. The Pinky Gonzalez, created by Trader Vic. Whoa. For a split second, I thought I was in Mexico. And there you have it, folks. Three incredible tequila cocktails that should be part of every bartender's repertoire. Not only are all these drinks very easy to make, but they're all intensely and immensely delicious. But if there's any tequila cocktails out there that I forgot and didn't mention today, then go ahead and leave in the comments below. And who knows, maybe it will be featured in a future episode of Cocktail Limelight. Now, don't forget to muddle that like and subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you'd like to dive deeper into the world of craft cocktails with us, be sure to check out the Bartender Large podcast, which I host over on iTunes, Spotify, and anywhere else that podcasts are found. And with all that said, thank you all so much for tuning in, and we will see you again next week. You can take that cocktail to the bank. You can take that cocktail to the ATM, because that one right there is money in the bank. That's stupid, yeah.